The Ukrainian Black Sea port of Odessa is a key battleground in the country's fight against corruption. Smuggling is a major problem. Following the pro-EU Maidan revolution and the ouster of the former pro-Russian president two years ago, there were hopes of a new beginning. Reformer and activist Yulia Maroshevska was made head of customs. Only 26 years old, she and a team of young officials set out to clean up the customs authority. But that turned out to be harder than they thought. Now the reformers have resorted to hanging protest signs at their own place of work. The sign reads, corruption networks have no place in Odessa. Me, the head of the customs, was sent a deputy, like a guy from Yanukovych uh, era, uh, with a very strange background, and he must be re responsible for anti-smuggling activities. Without any my permission, he was sent by Mr. Nazirov, the head of the state fiscal service, and it is so, such a strange behavior, you know. Maroshevska has set up a new call center to allow citizens to report corruption. But reformers fear this could be a touch too much for the established smuggling networks. The old system is starting to hit back. I would say that uh, they're trying to, to, to get back a control uh, on the country. They, they, they want to have a very successful privatization. Under pressure from Western donors, Ukraine is starting to privatize state-owned assets. Odessa was chosen as a flagship region for the privatization drive. Last year, President Petro Poroshenko appointed former Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili as the region's governor. Despite a reputation as a radical reformer, Saakashvili is running into roadblocks. There is talk that Ukraine's network of powerful oligarchs is moving to force him out of office.